Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Project O Model Workshop. Um, for the time being, it's just going to be me as uh, Andrew's uh, moved on to other things as, as, as far as uh, carving, pum carving pumpkins and uh, building jigsaw puzzles. So for the time being, it's just going to be me. Um, just a quick video. Um, I wanted to go ahead and drop this in on um, what's on my workbench and some updates and um, a few things that that I want to share with uh, with the modeling community. Um, uh, probably less than a month, or roughly at a month before uh, the the model show is here, the the Acme uh, hits uh, Smyrna. Uh, I believe it's on the ninth, um, or at least it's uh, it's it's the first week in in November. Uh, trying to get some few things ready. Uh, we're trying to work on a '66 Chevelle. Um, with some 20s or some 22s um, so I'm gonna have to modify the the chassis get it get it built up and I'm probably gonna put a um, a candy purple uh, from Alclad paint so um, um, just to uh, go over a few things that I have on my workbench and um, hopefully hopefully I won't burn too too much time and uh, maybe get a few more subscriptions to uh, boost up my channel boost up my views and uh, until the next group build so uh, let me switch the phone let me switch my uh, phone around and and uh, I'll get started all right everybody so kind of trying to get my little um, media station I guess set up here but since I got to share with uh, with my office um, I got to set it up and take it down as a as it as it goes well here um here i've got my uh, 66 chevelle it is a amt kit um i just got it primed uh have the engine bay primed um it is this uh this kit here um so you guys gotta forgive me if uh if i if i get my angles wrong uh or flipped upside down but um like i said i'm i'm still trying to still trying to get this figured out um so this is the kit that i'm that i'm working on um, I haven't decided uh, yet uh, if I'm gonna go with the uh, with the 20s um, these these 20s are are from um, Aoshima um, they are chrome chrome 20s they look uh, they look pretty sharp um, they're just just store-bought no, no resin just plastic and chrome um, they do look pretty sharp and I have these uh, 22s that are that are spoke that I actually got in a in a stash that I purchased uh, years ago off of eBay. It was a model junkyard where I, it came with a bunch of a bunch of uh, different kits, and I've been kind of sorting through them. But um, and that and I found and I found them there. Um, I will um, I will modify the chassis. Um, like I said, I've got it going on here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to raise. I'm gonna have to raise the uh, back end and the front end, so that the the right height will will fall right into place. Uh, you guys tell me tell me what you think. If we go with the uh, with a 22 spoke, um, that's kind of kind of the look that I'm gonna get. It's gonna do, it is gonna be raised up, um, kind of like a throwback to to some of the some of the rides that cruise up and down um, ATL. Um, if I go with the 20s, it won't sit as high. I think it will look a little bit fancy. Uh, if you guys will drop me a comment, um, let me know what you guys think. I still haven't decided which way I'm which way I'm gonna go, but uh, um, but I am gonna raise this guy um, a little bit. Um, also, I I did get my uh, my first 3D printer. It is it is not a resin printer. It's an Ender. Uh, I believe it's a um, um, it, it's an Ender 3 um, and I have started putting out some um, uh, some engines this is this is a 527 it does come with the um, with the air tunnel and uh, the supercharger um, I'm still tweaking it out a little bit so I'm gonna be honest with you guys um, it is a work in progress um, so I, I I probably will have a couple of little botch ups and things of that nature if you guys are interested in getting in getting a set of my botch ups, um, 
I, you know, I'll throw them out there to you. Just drop me and just drop me an email. Um, my my private email is is on all of my uh, descriptions um, in in on my videos. So if you guys are interested in getting a, a you know, like I said, a 527 supercharger or a, um, or the Ram Air Tunnel, just uh, just let me know. Um, and I, I I I don't like to throw them away. This is one that I have started putting together. I am having some issues with some uh, um, with some slicing, but every day I I, I pick something up, something new. Um, it helps me out. It's a couple stringing. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, you know it it is the pla the plastic 3D printers are different than the resin 3D printers. Um, I, you know I do resin casting for some of my stuff, but. Um, I used to sell it before. I have a box full of, uh, I think it's uh, 2011 uh, NASCAR bodies, some Impalas, um, a few, a few of the uh, uh, of the Toyotas. Um, so if you got, if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, just let me know. Some of the stuff uh, does need a little bit of uh, TLC, but um, I've never purchased any resin that I didn't have to uh, work on myself. So. Uh, for me, it, it's no problem. But again, um, you know, if you guys just help me out with uh, with some shipping, I'll get these out to you guys. I won't charge you for for the plastic. I won't charge you for the for the three D three D print. Um, I will. I guess I will start charging once I get them down to to where they're just straight out the box and put to, and put together. But for the time being, as I practice, you know, my practice is your guys's gain. Uh, just drop me a. Just drop me a, a, a email and I'll and I'll get these out and I'll get some of these out to you. I have I have quite a few. I have a few prints, all you know, all over the place. I'll just bag them and send them to you. Just keep that in mind. They are coming to you free, other than shipping. Um, so just uh, just keep that in mind that you're gonna have to maybe putty, maybe sand, um, tweak out a little bit thing, you know, a little bit here and there yourselves. Um, and then uh, and then again, one of one of the bigger projects. That, that that I'm working on um, is uh, and that I will probably put some 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 tricks maybe not tricks but just just show you guys some of the stuff I am a big um, NASCAR modeler um, I do have the I do have several of these uh, Salvino's uh, Camaros um, that that I have you know that I have uh, purchased so um, Again, big NASCAR fan, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott is is, is my driver. Um, didn't didn't do too well today. He was doing good on his road course, but uh, somebody else had better ideas, and they kind of they kind of spun him out late. Um, nonetheless, um, this guy here, is, uh, um, the one that, that I do have primered, um, will probably end up being just a a his regular Napa uh, paint scheme. Uh, this white one that I have that I have already shot with white um, came out pretty good. Got about two coats of white on here, um, and then a sealer coat. Uh, I sanded it down, and it's ready for it's ready for some decals. Um, the decal the decals that I that I'll be running on this guy are going to be the um, the Hooters, and that way I just want to show some of you guys that. That aren't too good, or not necessarily too good, because I think everybody that's on YouTube and has products is is, is amazing at what they do, um, different genres. Um, you know, you guys, you guys, you guys are pretty sharp. I pick up a lot of stuff from you guys all the time. Um, however, some some have have stated that they're not too big on on decaling. Decaling to me, I have found out that it is it is pretty simple. It is time consuming. Uh, but I've always found it exciting because you start with a painted body just like this, nothing on it, and then you um, you, you you just trig it out. You know, you, you you can go as as much as you want. You can come cut back on it. You can leave it um, out of the trailer clean, or you can you can smash it up, ding it up, beat it up a little bit. Um, I do have I do have some builds and stores that I will that I will get um, stalled projects. Um, I do have one that I did start out detailing pretty good. It was a wrecked uh, number three Dale Earnhardt. Um, 
can't remember why I really stopped working on it. Um, I might have got busy or, you know, uh, just like everybody else, life, life took um, took precedence over, over building kits and and it, it just ended up in, in, in storage. Um, however, this, this is what I got going, this is what I got going on, and I, and I do come, I will come back, and I will post, uh, post some more, um, but right now, you know, again, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time on this, uh, 3D printing stuff, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of fun, um, I got some stuff printing up right now, um, I got some carburetors, and, and, and some, um, some air tunnels that are print that are printing up trying to tweak out some of the some of the settings on it but you know um, I will I will get better I will get better at it I have picked up several kits from my local hobby shops Hobby Lobby um, I haven't found anything at any of the antique stores I guess um, I guess I get beaten out by by Matthew um, you know, Matt, Matthew probably raids them before I get there. So Matthew, if you're if you're watching this or if you're listening, I'll hopefully I'll I'll beat you to the next one and 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 find uh, find something good. Um, but I do have many projects, many projects working working on. Um, I don't just do um, NASCAR. I also do tanks. I also do a couple of uh, planes. Um, I did pick up this guy right here, the Ghost of Kiev, um, off of um, one of the one one of the hobby shops that that are that are that promote some of these builders here, and it came with a set of uh, with with paint, super nice kit. It, it is a 172 scale, so it's not it's not going to be that big that cumbersome. Um, it seems like it'll go together pretty good. I could probably go ahead and, and, and get this all done up and then come back and spray it. Um, so the details on the out on the outside, uh, the 172 models, are, they usually are a lot of the detail. There's not not a whole lot of detail, you know, to put to put inside. Um, one of my other st uh, stash picks, um, I picked this guy up at uh, at Hobby Town USA in Kennesaw. Um, it is a World War World War Two era um, Doberman Pinschers. Um, it's uh, pretty cool. I do have a, a Doberman Pinscher. Uh, actually, our Doberman, his name is Ryder, and he actually belongs to Andrew. He's his service dog, and um, I've always been fascinated with Dobermans. Um, if, if you guys didn't know, I am a Jarhead. Um, I, I, w I was in the in the Persian Gulf. Um, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. For some of you that that may not remember what uh, what that was, that that was when we uh, liberated Kuwait from all the Saddam Hussein. Um, now that I've dated myself, and you guys know how far back I go, um, I look forward to just putting this together because I tend to I tend to put them around my my desk and just kind of while I'm doing while I'm doing my schoolwork. Um, I do tend to to uh, to look at them and just uh, and just check them out, just like um, just like me and Mondo here. We we tend to uh, to talk a lot late at night. Uh, this was a pretty nice little build. Um, you know, if you feel like you're you're stalled out, you want you just want to put something together, get something going. You can pick you guys one of, one of these up. You know, at um, at Hobby Lobby. Um, just wait till. Till it's a 40% week. Every other week is a 40%. I call it two for one because I could usually pick up two kits for the price of one. So um, I think I think I got just about everything they got at Hobby Lobby. They need to start uh, changing their their selection so I can so I can go in there and, and, and pick up the rest of the stuff. But anyway, that's what I got going on right now. Um, I look forward to coming back, throwing some of these builds together again. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to boost up my subs, um, my subscription. So um, if you guys can help me out, drop me out a drop me a a, a shout out. Um, we just finished the um, uh, Papa Dan and Colonel Rev um, deformed cartoon build. Andrew and I did. Uh, he sent us out our tokens. He sent us out um, uh, some pretty pretty cool messages. Uh, you know, everybody loves Andrew. Andrew's a super cool kid. 
he's always into something and um a big star wars fan so um look forward to putting these together and look look forward to seeing a, a another video coming up here uh shortly um again i don't have no music other than alexa hanging out playing in the background um i gotta get this all wrapped up clean up my my desk here and um uh, and knock me out on assignment um I'm, I'm working on a master's on a master's program uh, in occupational safety and health so uh, it's, it's kind of tedious um, a lot to know that I'll probably never I'll probably never get to use but it is a lot of information so I gotta keep keep my head on straight got probably another year a uh, year and a half um, to, to finish to finish that up so keep me in mind and um, drop me a sub um, I'll see you guys soon